holding its own against the Russian military right now, but how long can they actually hold out as anyone's guest? Just today, Ukrainian officials reported dozens of people killed in a rocket attack in Kharkiv. So given Russia's military strength, is it just a matter of time before things simply fall apart? Joining us once again is analyst, is the former CIA station chief, uh, Daryl Blocker. He's also an ABC News contributor. Uh, Daryl, you know, we have uh, seen this large convoy today of Russian armed forces moving toward Kyiv. Do Ukrainians, uh, many of whom are armed civilians now with no formal military training, I even have talked to women now who are standing up and taking arms. What's your take of, of where things stand now? If Putin and his forces decide to do what they did in Syria and literally just Amen. come in with overwhelming uh, forces, then Kyiv will fall. But what we have is corporate America stepping up, the Elon Muskers of the world, the shells of the world, and it's not just people on the ground. They can form a resistance, and they have already, but overwhelming forces of Trinks and infantry troops on the ground, if if they decide to uh, to ramp it up, they're not going to be able to hold out. But the world is watching, and Putin knows the world is watching. So it hopefully it will temper uh, those those proclivities. So, Daryl, let me ask you something. We were talking yesterday uh, just about the future of Putin, um, and we were having this discussion of, of all these reports that have been out. Is, is he losing his mind? Is he becoming unhinged? A lot of people across the country weighing in, a lot of military leaders. And you even mentioned that this could go really south, like a Muammar Gaddafi, like a Saddam Hussein. And I actually followed up after our conversation with two former chairmen uh, of the Joint Chiefs, both of whom say this is a Putin they have not seen before. And they don't think that he can last, that he can make it, that he could end up being just, that, that his own people could turn against him. It all depends on what happens in Ukraine. What do you think about, just as someone who was so deeply involved in counterterrorism at the CIA, you know, what's your feeling? Because you kind of went there yesterday, and now I'm hearing a lot of follow-up from a lot of military leaders that I respect that Putin may not make it here. I'm, I'm hearing a lot as well. I, 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 I believe what I said. Um, if you look at history, I can think of zero examples of a nation who has invaded another country been repulsed or pushed back or the you know the world come up and and made them retreat that remained in office the people in russia are hitting the streets the people in russia who can't get money out of the atms the people in russia who are losing their their basically their the value of their dollars all of them are going to look and say why are we doing this and why is this man leading our nation so yeah i do think the groundswell has begun i think putin thinks he's invincible, but he's not. Once the people have decided that you're no longer representing us, then he's either gonna have to turn against his own or he's gonna have to move on. I think he's gonna move on, not quietly and not easily, but I do think his days are numbered. And, and as we just look at the screen now and just the yeah. uprising, right, across the world, I mean, you, you just nailed it, this, this, this swell of, of protesters and people. And I was even talking to a member of the Ukrainian parliament, you know, one of the, the women members of parliament who's taking up arms and talking about even the movement up beyond, you know, on the behalf of women in that, you know, the, the, she said that, Russian forces are coming in confused that they thought they were there for some type of liberation movement. And we even heard yeah. that radio call, right, on behalf of that Russian soldier coming in saying, I'm not quite sure why I'm here. They all look like us. What are we doing? Do you think this propaganda war that, that Putin has raged is going to backfire too? And is it possible that his own Russian troops could say, this is, this is crazy, forget it? It, it's already happening. If you look at what Meta or Facebook has already done, shut down their ability to use the bots to have the impact that they may have had in the past. And once the troops on the ground, the ones that are leading the invasion, are questioning openly, why are we doing this? 
it's only a matter of time before the generals and the people who are in the command structure are going to have to stand up to to their president and say, Mr. President, you are either going to have to reverse your, you know, your actions or you're going to have to justify why every rank and file of Russian is going to have to pay for this. And they are within the country and within the diaspora. Daryl Blocker, it's always great to get your analysis and insight, especially with your background uh, coming from the CIA and, and uh, CT. Hope we can continue to talk every day about this. You seem to be right there on the cutting edge when it comes to intel. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you, Kara. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.